Y'all seen Paid in Full? Paid in Full is a really, really good movie. It's the story of uh, Alpo. It's the story of... Uh, dang. Uh, Mitch. Uh, it's the story of the young guys in Harlem getting some money. They were getting money. But Alpo, he, he, he was the interested one because he set up one of his friends. Then he proceeded to come down here to D.C. He'll facilitate a lot of people being murdered. He, he That's part of his record. And then he snitched on a lot of people. He came home, and apparently he got right back to trapping. And it's been reported. You know, this happened uh, last week. He was murdered. I'm going to pull up the story right here and I'm going to break down my viewpoint on it. So the article says, the headline is, Former drug lord Alpo Martinez reportedly still dabbled in the drug racket when he was killed. A report says he threw baggies of narcotics out of his truck window when he tried to escape a fatal drive-by shooter. The article says former New York uh, drug kingpin Alberto Alpo Martinez was killed October 31st. What? Who was killed October 31st was tossing baggies of drugs out of his truck window while driving away from the gunfire and a drive-by shooting that took his life. The New York Post reports baggies were discovered on the street space out a few feet apart. In apparent effort not to have them in his possession when the police arrived, the Post reported citing an uh, unnamed source which also noted that it had been in a that he had been in a federal witness protection program and may have been trying to circumvent being arrested because he knew police would be arriving. A crime scene video purports to show Martinez's effort to get rid of what appeared to be heroin in the baggies. It was not immediately clear if he had been released from the witness protection program or if he was simply visiting his old neighborhood. Martinez, 55, died October 31st while sitting behind the wheel of his Dodge Ram truck in Harlem. At the height of his crack cocaine epidemic, at the height of the crack cocaine epidemic, he was the uh, top drug. He was at the top of a drug empire that stretched from New York to Washington, D.C. He was arrested in 1991 by FBI and D.C. police as he drove his truck in southeast Washington. The Washington Post reported he was wanted for drug trafficking and drug-related killings. Ultimately, he confessed to uh, uh, 14 murders, but became a government witness who testified against his underlings. One of the victims was his longtime friend and partner in crime, Rich Porter, who Martinez believed was cutting in on uh, drug deals. One of Martinez's associates shot Porter for the crime balls. When Porter didn't uh, immediately die, Martinez confessed that he shot him in the head. Authorities released Martinez from prison in uh, 2015 while serving a 35-year sentence. Martinez, who was in the Government Witness Protection Program, was last known to live in Maine. His notorious exploits inspired the 2002 classic film Paid a Foon, in which featured a uh, rapper Cameron as Martinez and Mikhail Pfeiffer, who played Rich Porter. Ah, uh, yeah. That man went back to the hood. He was just... He went back to trapping. That, that just amazes me. Like, what motivated him to come back down to Harlem and sell drugs again? I'm pretty sure the people, you know, still alive... Who he snitched on They they may have then forget Or maybe it was a new drug deal Gone bad or I don't know it's just I don't understand his logic in coming back to Harlem To you know Flaunt his presence And start selling drugs again Doesn't make sense to me 
I'm not in his head. I'm not trying to, you know, maybe was trying to relive that that rush he had when he was younger. I mean, he should know from the first time it didn't work out, and he went right back to what he thought was going to work, and done. It didn't work. It it ain't it. Uh I wish the best for his family. I definitely wish the best for his family, but they always say, you know, karma. Karma is a karma's a bitch. They they say that. And they say she comes around to collect. I just don't get why I go why I go back to where, you know, you got your issues at. Why I go back there? You too old for that. You already did what you did. <sighs> It's your boy, DJ the Park Boy, and I'm here with a special product for you. I got some Delta 8 weed from JK Distro, and I'm saying it's amazing. It's clean, smokable, and the best part is they deliver it right to your door. Because of the 2018 Farm Bill, it's now legal for them to have Delta 8 weed sent through the mail. That's right. And if you use promo code FLOSS1, you can get some clean, smokable weed sent to your door direct. You have options. You go right there to jkdistro.com. You look at all the strands they have, which is a lot. You can even get you some edibles. You can get you some wine. Anything in between you can think of. You put in promo code FLOSS1, we're going to save you 20%. So go ahead, hop on that now. Make sure it's in the description.